Some new information on a story we've been following here on Happening Now, and it's very strange. The creepy clown sightings with police increasing patrols in a North Carolina neighborhood after two children reportedly saw a clown trying to lure kids into the woods with treats this past weekend. Clown sightings first started across the border in South Carolina. On August 19th, a boy in Greenville, Greenville said he saw clowns whispering in the woods nearby. Two days later, police officers got called to an apartment complex after residents there reported seeing a clown trying to lure kids to follow him, or maybe her, into the woods. The next day, on August 22nd, police received two more calls about clown sightings within an hour of each other. Even more sightings on August 23rd, when a young girl walking home from school said she saw a clown in a wooded area. The same day, a resident at Park Haywood Apartments reported seeing a clown in the laundromat. A suspicious character also seen in Spartanburg, South Carolina, in a backyard there, not far from Greenville. On August 31st, a child reported seeing a clown near a middle school. Now, police have not recovered any evidence at any of these locations, but they're doing extra patrols and say they are still investigating. Joining us now, Sarah Kruger, a reporter for Fox affiliate WGHP in Greensboro, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. She has been covering this bizarre story. Did I miss anything, Sarah? John, you know what? Actually developing in our newsroom right now, just within the past hour and a half, there has now been yet another clown sighting in our area. This one in the Greensboro area, which is about 30 miles east of Winston-Salem, where there were those two sightings within the past couple of days. So we do have a crew out there right now gathering information. But as far as we know right now, there was another clown sighting, this one also in a wooded area near an apartment complex in Guilford County, again by Greensboro, 30 miles east. So people here wondering, you know, is this some kind of a hoax? There's a lot of fear, as you can imagine, a lot of questions. But so far, the reaction from law enforcement has been, you know, they're not showing any signs that this is a hoax at all. They are out there investigating thoroughly. As far as Winston-Salem goes, as you mentioned, John, police are increasing patrols in the area where the clown was sighted, allegedly trying to lure kids into the woods. So certainly this is what everyone is talking about around here. Yeah, we've got the map up showing where some of these sightings have been reported. Again, police have investigated, and so far there's no hard evidence that any of these so-called clowns um, actually exist, right? Exactly. That first sighting of the clown in Winston-Salem was Sunday night around 8.30 p.m., and police got a call that two kids had been... Uh, had seen a clown that was trying to lure them into the woods using treats. So no adult did see that clown, but an adult did hear the clown apparently. As soon as police arrived, they say there was nothing for them to find as far as any clown goes. And then it wasn't until four hours later they got another report of a clown sighting. That one was about two miles away from the first sighting. And again, they got there, they showed up, and they just couldn't find anything. I know in, in Greenville, the p chief of police is quoted as saying, Thing, the clowning around has to stop. I mean, they're taking this very seriously, uh, but police can't be everywhere. And if there is somebody trying to lure kids into the woods, uh, they haven't located that person, haven't put them in handcuffs yet. Exactly. Probably a good reminder for parents everywhere to go out and go ahead and talk to your kids about this. You know, of course, we don't want to incite more mass fear, mass confusion, but at this point, we don't have any reason to believe this is a hoax, so it may just be one of those things rather safe than sorry, and go ahead and talk to your kids, let them know this has been an issue now reported in Winston-Salem here in North Carolina and 30 miles away in Greensboro, so it's definitely a very real concern for parents. Uh, there is apparently a uh, film being being released prior to Halloween called 31. It talks about mm -hmm. carnival workers who get kidnapped on the night before Halloween. There's been some speculation that this might all be part of some, you know, viral marketing campaign. Um, have you had the chance or is there any indication uh, that that's what's going on here? Police have not made any comment on that. All I can say is they are taking this very seriously, especially after what's been happening in South Carolina. And even for people here, you know, South Carolina, Greenville area is about 200 miles away. But still, for a lot of people here, that felt way too close. And now that it's been happening three times now in our own backyards, people are taking this seriously. There are some questions, you know, wondering if this is a hoax, but people not 
not wanting to take that chance and yeah. wanting to take this very seriously. Yeah, let's hope it is not uh, children's imaginations run wild, but it's, it's very strange that uh, mm -hmm. this is happening in so many uh, cities, so many hundreds of miles apart. Sarah Kruger, Sarah, uh, mm -hmm. if there is more information, get back to us. Thank you.